Good day guys Today our video is about a renewal of main engine cylinder liner So first before fall out the cylinder liner you have to remove the jacket cooling of the cylinder liner So this is now uh, lifting up the jacket cooling of the cylinder liner slowly moving up um, with precaution especially for the uh, lubricator fittings So make sure guys that this uh, removing the jacket cooling is completely removed inside the uh, cylinder liner then after removing this one you can remove the cylinder liner So now already lift up the jacket cooling from the cylinder liner. So the remaining now is the cylinder liner only. So after the jacket is released from the overhead crane, uh, thoroughly clean inside the jacket because uh, we have uh, corrosion from the fresh water, we have a corroded area of the jacket cooling. And this is guys the scratch mark between the cylinder liner and the jacket cooling during assembly. So make sure guys that we have to coincide the line, the scratch mark between cylinder liner and jacket cooling at the cam side. So next now we have we are removing the cylinder liner from the housing frame. So slowly lifting up the cylinder liner. So we have only three o ring in this cylinder liner. We have two o-ring on the jacket cooling and one o-ring in the lower part at the cylinder now liner housing frame so this is the o-ring upper o-ring for the jacket cooling and this is the second o-ring for the jacket and this is the third o-ring for the cylinder liner so we have three o-ring to be replacement during a renewed cylinder liner So the new liner guys before uh, assembled 
make sure that you have to clean thoroughly pull out the grease coating of the cylinder liner inside and outside of the cylinder liner and also the lubricator hole you have to clean because you have uh, coating inside the cylinder hole uh, nozzle So after this one guys, uh, the liner is secured, you have to take out the cylinder lubricator nozzle and transfer to the new cylinder liner. So always remember guys that always think of safety of the crew and the safety of the equipment that is uh, the very serious reminder for to us during maintenance So now slowly lower the cylinder liner under the bottom of the flooring and then take out the cylinder lubricator nozzle. This will have a six lubricator nozzle. So now the old cylinder liner is on the floor and then take out all the cylinder lubricator nozzle transfer to new cylinder liner. And this is the new cylinder liner guys. Now already, already fitted the six cylinder lubricator nozzle and now we have to assemble the new cylinder liner to cylinder number five and after the cylinder liner is fitted next is to uh, assemble the cylinder jacket to the cylinder liner So this uh, new liner guys already clean the outside and inside of the cylinder liner and especially the o-ring groove. The o-ring groove is thoroughly clean and the cylinder lubricator nozzle before in assemble the nozzle we have to make sure clean inside the hole of the cylinder lubricator nozzle
So always remember guys, the safety of the crew and the safety of the equipment or the machinery. So now slowly lower the cylinder liner into the cylinder liner housing. Then fitted the cylinder lubricator fittings. Then after the fittings is installed, guys, manual pumping the lubricator pump to bleed to take out the air on the line. And then check inside the cylinder liner the lubricator spray. Okay, now the cylinder liner is already in the housing until fitted properly. And this is the cylinder lubricator must be inside into the lubricator line so this is a lubricator no soil and the lower is the lubricator fittings Okay, slowly, slowly, until the O-ring is go inside without any damage. So make sure guys also uh, all personnel is have a knowledge on this kind of overhauling and we have, have a brief properly according, according to the instruction manual to be followed. So now the cylinder liner is already fitted and the next step is to install or insert the jacket cooling into the cylinder liner. So this is now the new clean jacket cooling of the cylinder liner. Now you have to install a jacket cooling slowly, slowly until the scratch mark between the cylinder liner and the jacket cooling is coincide on the cam side 
comes upside So make sure guys that the o-ring is no damage during assembly because if the o-ring is damaged the jacket cooling water is leaking during operation. So the jacket cooling almost fitted on the cylinder liner. So make sure guys that the scratch mark between the cylinder liner and the jacket cooling is coincide on the comes off side there is a scratch mark marker and then you have to compress the jacket cooling until fix it into the jacket and to the cylinder liner yeah, we have a scratch mark. Must be queen side. So the cylinder liner assembly, guys, is completed. Thank you very much for watching.